when you get up in the morning, do you feel insecure and not fully superstar gaga and you have to sort of kick yourself in the butt and say, you're a superstar, get out there and be the star that you know you can be? You have to turn no. your swag on. Most mornings I feel wonderful. I feel great. I'm so happy. I feel so blessed. I feel more confident and fearless than I've ever felt before. And uh, some mornings, just like everybody, I wake up and I've got to put my boxing gloves on and suck myself in the face and say, bitch, get to work. It's time to go. <laughs> They're waiting for you. The show must go on. Because sometimes you feel like the loser you said you felt like in high school, right? You know, those wounds never go away. They're they're buried deep. You don't see the scars maybe anymore. Maybe they're just really small and you put user and cream on them to make them fade. But sometimes they resurface, just like with anything in your life that haunts you. That's really what Judas is about, releasing the things that haunt you, releasing the things that you regret. Judas is about uh, saying, if I never went through that, I wouldn't be where I am now. The idea that Judas was the ultimate betrayer. But in fact, if that had never occurred, the ultimate prophecy Jesus. of life would not have been fulfilled. Right. So uh, it's a metaphor for struggle and perseverance. Tell me about the Judas video. Uh, I directed it with Lorianne Gibson, a longtime collaborator and very close friend of mine. She's a choreographer as well. Amazing. And what I wanted to say with this video, similarly to how I've pushed my music in the past, uh, layering a, an additional metaphor on top of any metaphors that may be already existing within the music. We talked about the statement, if they were not who you were taught that they would be, would you still believe? So in the video, it is inspired by this sort of hybrid of motorcycle Fellini. 